This is a short bite episode of Homeschool Together. Hello and welcome to Homeschool Together Short Bite Edition. We got a game that is not physical. It is <laughs> it is in the ether on the as they like to say, the information superhighway, the game of Wordle. Yes, yes. The if hot you, the hot game sweeping the world. That's right. If, if you've seen your friends on social media posting these strange little green and yellow boxes and you're like, what is this? <laughs> um, that's Wordle. And I was like, oh, I'm not playing another app game. I'm just not doing it. Um, but I eventually did look Wait, into you don't it. Wait, you don't want to farm turnips for me, Ariel? I, I just like was like, on these oh links. man, I don't need another app, you know? <laughs> Um, as much as I do love word games, I was like, ah, I'm just not going to do this. However, this was a pleasant surprise. This is not an app-based game. This is a browser-based game. There's nothing to download and there's nothing to sign up for. You do not have to have a login. You just go to the website mm-hmm. and actually the New York Times just purchased it. So the, the link will not might be, be changing. It will not be free anymore. <laughs> it's going to be free for a while. A little while. Um, a little while. But uh, you, you just go to the browser. There's no login needed. And there's one puzzle every day. And if you've played the game Mastermind, we, we talked about Mastermind back on the show. Maybe we'll link that in here. Uh, Mastermind's just a, a fab, fabulous game and such it's a classic. It's kind of like a logic uh, coding puzzle type of game. Right. You set a code and then somebody else is trying to figure it out. Well, this is kind of similar. There's a five-letter word that's set and you're trying to guess it. You have no clues. So you type in a five-letter word and it's going to tell you like great for every today, today you typed in great great is my preferred start it's got i two, think it's well, because it's got, it's got two of the most popular vowels and i think two of the most popular consonants with r and t, t and i yeah. think g is you know regular enough there's a lot of ing words so so great is the word that i use you can come up with your own i i i heard one that the guy always uses diary because it gives it gives a i uh, a, I, and Y, and then yeah. D and R are such popular consonants that he felt, felt like that's like You're at least going to get the one of those word. letters. Yeah. So anyway, what happens is you type in this five-letter word, and then the game will tell you in each square, if that letter is not found in the solution word, then it'll go gray. If that word isn't, that letter is in the solution, but it's not in the right place, it'll be yellow. And if it is in the correct place and the correct word is green. So it tells you after you hit submit. And so then you'll go to the next line and you go, okay, well, I know that it's got, you know, two of the letters that I used. Okay. I will make a new five letter word that includes those maybe in different positions or based on the information it tells you. And I think that you get six chances and then, then you would, you would lose. And there's only one puzzle every day. So it's kind of great. You can't binge it. But it's interesting because we end up sitting there each night. Last night we were like, we were sitting there and thinking about like, what could the word be today? And it's kind of cool. The entire world is playing the same word on the (laughs) same day. Um, You see, you can't binge it. You've got to just play and then wait for the next day. But it was such a great. It's, it's such a, a, a great word game. You're thinking of all these different words yeah. and how could you make them different combinations. It, it jumps on the Scrabble, Boggle, all those type of classic yeah, exactly. games where we're like spelling words. We we play, what's the word game? The Quiddler that we have as yeah, well. Like well. You know, a lot of these spelling games are really fun and, and, and fun. I used to play one called Wordament where it was a two minute um, game and the game is reset every two minutes. I think there was like a, a one minute break in between the games. And you got an array of five by five letters and you had to spell with swipe motions letters. And based on the length of the, of the word, you get a, you, you would, you would get a certain number of points and then you were competing against everyone. And I, my goal was always to try to get into the top 100. And I found if I played it at three in the morning when <laughs> these time zones were sleeping that I would, I would win. But then I did, I got into there, but then I found out the top 50 were just, uh, they were senior projects at universities where they had like a guy citing the words a robot and he was figuring it all out. Oh, and was, that ruins anyway, the game. These word games are super addictive and super fun. So what I like about Wordle is yeah, Wordle. you can go on and play it on the browser. And like you say, the New York Times just bought it. It will be free for a while, but then it won't be. But <laughs> you can just play Wordle at home with your kids. All you have to do is think in your mind of yeah. a five-letter word, then have your kids write down their five-letter word. You could use a highlighter. Mm-hmm something or check marks. I mean, come up with your own system, your own whatever own you want to do. Yeah. 
and you can play this game with your kids and your kids can play this with you. You absolutely do not need to play this on the browser. It is fun. The whole world is doing it at the same time. And I think it's pretty cool. They have a button in there. You could share your results, which is why you see it on everybody's social media. Kind of, it's kind of become like a joke. Like I don't want to see anybody else's Wordle scores. Um, but you could just do this with your kids. It is super fun. Um, you could just, you, you come up with a five letter, have them come up with a five letter code for you. Mm-hmm. You try to guess it and then they can go through and mark which ones are right and wrong and in the wrong spot and, and see, you know, how fast you can get the words. I think it's a, it's a really great, really clever language arts game. It is incredibly simple. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can do it online or there's a bunch of like copycat apps and things that or other places that you can play it with different types of words. And so you can look up, there's, you know, a myriad of different ones. And we'll make sure to include the link down below. But even if you don't go and play this online, just do this with your kids. It is a super, super fun game. Uh, so we'll link this in the show notes and you can go on there and see, you know, what it looks like. And Mm -hmm. and if you want to just play it at home, then you can play tons of games of it, have your kids, (laughs) try to guess different five letter words or, you know, make this easier on your kids. Let's say you have a a CVC CVC word. You could do three letters or four or do six. I mean, do whatever you want. This is so simple. You do not need to do this on a computer. You could just do this with your family. And so we wanted to share because it is taking over the world because it is super fun. Yeah. But it, it literally just, uh, it would take very little effort to do this. Um, for your for your kiddos at whatever level they're at, and what a fun way to play a different sort of word game. I we you know we always played like Hangman when we were mm-hmm. uh, kids, and I, that, that's so such a morbid thing. I don't know why anybody ever played that. Um, but you know the idea of making up a puzzle and trying to guess it—that's a whole Wheel of Fortune thing too, right? There's a puzzle, and you're trying to guess letters, and then come up with what's what's missing. We're, something about word puzzles are just in, really intriguing. I really it love is. word puzzles. So Wordle, play it on your browser or just play it at home. Thanks so much for joining us today and making us a part of your homeschool journey. Please engage with us on social media. Join our Homeschool Together podcast group on Facebook and find us at Homeschool Together podcast on Instagram. We'd love to hear your feedback, questions, and recommendations. Until next time. Happy homeschooling!